It's called The Future of Freelancing. It's a two-day conference here at Stanford, and it will be attended by 125 experienced writers, all of whom are freelancing or interested in freelancing. About half of them are longtime freelancers like me, and the other half are folks who are making the transition or have transitioned recently into freelancing out of the newsroom. We're bringing those writers together with 40 editors from traditional print publications, from online outlets, and uh, some other thinkers. And we're all going to get together and talk about how the independent journalist will play a role in the transformation of journalism that is taking place right now. Uh, this isn't going to be a theoretical discussion at all. We're going to be talking about real opportunities that exist right now and how freelancers can take advantage of them. I had a one-day event for 60 writers in mind. That's what I proposed. But I got so much encouragement and such positive feedback as I built the conference that it grew and grew. So I've been a freelance writer. I've been self-employed for 12 years, and a lot of freelancing is about preparing yourself for no mm -hmm. and making it impossible for people to say no. But here, whenever I've asked, the answer has been yes. I say, well, how about two days? Sure. How about twice as many writers? Sure. Um, the resources have been here, and the imagination has been here. And for me, that's been so empowering, and it's a lesson I'm never going to forget. Um, what do you want to come out of it? Like if you have a, a, like a sort of big goal at yeah. the back end of it, after people have been to it. The, the best possible outcome would be the emergence of some permanent networks for freelance writers mm -hmm. where they are finding new ways to support each other and to use their collective influence to affect the direction that journalism takes as we emerge from this transformation.